If I cause a fire that damages a location or building that I rent, does the general liability policy cover it? You have questions? We have answers. Let's get into it. How a general liability policy responds to claims for fire damage to the location you rent can be a little convoluted and complex. So this is one you're going to want to watch or listen to the whole way through. It's important to understand that general liability policies provide coverage for bodily injury or property damage that you're negligent for to third parties, meaning other people or their stuff. Your property, whether it's contents or changes you've made to the location you rent, think flooring, paint, or permanently installed equipment, is not covered by a general liability policy. For that coverage, you're going to need a commercial property policy. You might ask, but I don't own the location or building I rent. If I cause a fire, does my general liability provide coverage if my landlord sues me for the damage to their building? You might be surprised to find out the answer to that question is no. The standard general liability policy has an exclusion that removes all coverage for property damage to any real property, aka the building, in the care, custody, or control of the insured. Meaning any property, yours or someone else's, that you control or is in your possession is excluded from coverage. Basically, the general liability policy is trying to remove coverage for stuff that belongs to you or you treat like it belongs to you. But that's not where it ends. This is where damage to premises rented to you coverage comes in. This is a separate coverage on most standard general liability policies that gives you back a limited amount of coverage for a fire that you cause and damages your landlord's property. It's really important to note that this coverage is only for fire damage to your landlord's property. Any damage you cause other than fire would not be covered on a general liability policy. Damage premises rented to you is usually a lower limit of your general liability aggregate. If you want to know more about what an aggregate is, I have a different video for that. The limit is most commonly 50,000 or 100,000, but some carriers let you purchase higher limits if you're required to by your landlord. Damage to premises rented to you is not a perfect solution for your landlord, which is why it's very important that they carry commercial property policy which provides broader coverage for damage to their property caused by a tenant or other peril, like lightning or hurricanes. <coughs> if I may, insurance nerd Alex here to be specific. A peril is a specific cause of loss resulting in damage or injury to a piece of property or person. I hope that clears things up. If not, you may just have to talk to the other Alex. Now remember, not all insurance is created equal. We discussed some general terms and definitions, but you have to see your insurance policy to better understand how damage to premises rented to you coverage specifically works within your coverage. Ask your independent insurance agent. That's what we're here for, to help you better understand the differences so you can make your best insurance buying decision. If you don't have an independent insurance agent or you would like a second opinion, please, reach out to us at www.depositoinsurance.com. There you can find more informational videos like this one, chat with us, text, email, or even start your quote right there online. If you found this information useful, please hit that like button and share it with someone who may need it. It would also do me a great honor if you click that subscribe button so you get notified when we release more videos like this one and make some fun ones too. Thank you.